Welcome back to Cole's Couch Time. Now, this week um, I need to touch on a, on something that's my experience from the last week. Sort of triggered it off, really. Uh, and looking at the, what's going on, it's a realisation that it's probably happening around the world. It's not just going to be paramount to to the UK. It will be in the, you know, the States, in Europe, everywhere between here and Australia, New Zealand, really. It's it's called WOBS, W-O-B-S. Now, with lockdown coming to an end where the world is, a lot of the world is, is starting to be released. The, the UK, you know, leading the world on vaccines. I've had my vaccine shot, had the first one. Um, surprisingly enough, my head hasn't exploded. My arms haven't fallen off. Yeah, you know, night follows day, still everything goes on. Everything, all normal life is happening. Um, but this one thing that's, that's been triggered, uh, it's, it's triggered in my head. And I've had some friends make um, some suggestions of, of subjects to cover, which I'll cover in time. I haven't forgotten about those guys. We'll, we will get to that. But as lockdown is coming to an end in this country, we're starting to get our life back to normal again. We're, we're moving forward. Now, the thing that's become apparent is there is a scourge happening on the roads. Uh, a scourge, and it is a scourge basically, it, it's it's a danger. You know, number one, people coming out of lockdown, and, and as I said last week, there's bad drivers. People coming out of lockdown and it's like they've forgotten how to drive. But not only that, the, I think we've, where everywhere has been shut and you haven't been able to go out for a meal, you haven't been able to go to the pub, you haven't been able to play golf, the, you, things have been limited of what you can and can't do. And obviously some shops have been open supermarkets have been open, cycle shops have been open, uh, everywhere else has been shut. So you, you, your chances of what you can and can't do have been very limited, which has sort of brought about the birth of bankers on bikes, wobs. This lot here, okay, the, the, we see these guys and you can be right, driving down a road quite happily and there's a line of traffic. You, what the fuck, the traffic, we're, we're moving at six miles an hour, seven miles an hour, a line of cars in front of you, what the fuck is going on? Then you realize there's some arsehole on a bike that's dressed in Lycra that thinks he's on the Tour de France. His leg, he, the, the tour is gone, everyone else is gone and there's this idiot still fucking riding along. But what I noticed the other day, where the, the, the place I was sitting, there's a cycle lane. And it's on the banks of the river and a cycle lane and a lot of you, know, your, your Sunday morning cyclists, your Ma and Pa cat, all the, the kids, mum and dad out with the kids, they're all using the cycle lane, fantastic. And that's where you know, governments around the world have spent millions and millions of pounds on cycle lanes. So people, recreational cyclists can use them. They stay off the road, they're not a danger to anybody, they're not a danger to themselves and they're not a danger to other road users. They don't pay tax, they don't pay insurance, they don't pay to use the road. So this is a gift for these guys. Stay in the cycle lane, that's where you belong. And that's fantastic. And I don't have an issue with them. What I have an issue with, are these wankers that dress in their lycra. They think they have a body like Linford here. Linford worked really hard on his physique, on his fitness. Look, he, he, you know, he had a body that any of us would have been proud of when we were a lot younger. Right now we've got too many great heads. But when we were a lot younger, you know, you have a physique like that, you think it's fantastic and it shows he worked hard. Yeah, this guy was royal, just athletic royalty. He was brilliant. The, the country followed him, we all supported him. Yeah, go Linford in the Olympics, fantastic. Brilliant. And all these guys in like Grenier think they look like this guy. Unfortunately, reality strikes. You know, you, you need a, a touch of reality. You do not look like Linford. No. What you look like is this bloke. You resemble more Homer Simpson than Linford Christie. You're overweight. You're not fit. You haven't worked on your physique. You haven't worked on your fitness for years. But you have a bit of money kicking around. You've got a bit of a midlife crisis. You think the wife might bugger off and leave you. The kids are looking at you going, Dad, you're a pathetic loser. You don't really know what's going on in life. So you think, I know, I'll go and get a flash bike, get some pretty colored Lycra, and off I go. 
Really? Okay. You want to do that? <laughs> that's up to you. You want to do that? That's fine. But stay in a cycle lane. Don't go on the road. Because in the road, you're a danger. You're a danger to yourself. You're a danger to everybody else on the road. But you're a pain in the arse as well. You're a fucking nuisance. What you should be doing is saying, where's there a cycle track? Is there, is there an indoor cycle track? I'll go, go there. Go stay there, don't care. You're out of the way. You're not offensive to anybody. The way you look is not offensive to everybody. You're wearing your fucking your weird pinks and yellows and green lycra and you think you're on a tour de France. You're not, guys. You're fucking, you're an embarrassment. You are really an embarrassment and you're somebody, you're a group of people who have not accepted you're getting old. Your days of being young and fit and hip and terrific are long gone behind you. You probably were never even there in the first place. You look terrible and you're a danger on the road. And as I said last week, there's a lot of bad drivers out there that you're just adding to the carnage that's on the road. The difference being is if a car hits a car, they're insured. Trucks, lorries, we all pay insurance, MOT, road tax. So if you have an accident, you're covered. Cyclist, you pay nothing. You shouldn't be on the fucking road. There's a cycle track, stay there, don't go on a cycle track. Go anywhere else, bar the road. You're a fucking nuisance. You don't think about the road rules. You drive along, a red light, and you'll go through a red light. Oh, there's nothing coming the other way, I'll go straight through. If a car hits you, you're dead. And it's the car driver that then has to prove his innocence because you're a fucking cockhead. You drove straight through it. You're a fucking idiot. You disobey the road rules completely. You ride along two, three, four abreast, all having a chat, all thinking you're fantastic. And then when a driver, and a car driver has a go at you, you look at the car driver as if they're on drugs. How dare you speak to me like that? We're allowed to be on the road. Yeah, you are. You are allowed to be on the road. They don't make it safe. They don't make you brilliant. What you should be doing is staying to the fucking, when we were kids. Well, I can remember when I was a kid, we had a cycling proficiency test at school. And it goes for three or four weeks when you're at school and they teach you how to ride your bike. They teach you the road rules. They teach you some rules to live by to keep you safe on the road. Fair enough, most of us just completely didn't give a shit anyway on our bikes and we just used to ride across and dip in and out of traffic. We're our own danger on the road. But you know, you taught how to use the road. What cyclists these days should we have? They should have a license to show that they understand the road rules. They understand how to ride their bike on the road in a safe manner. Have a license, pay for that license. If you don't have a license, you should not be on the fucking road. Number two, you should have insurance because if you have an accident, if your bike falls against my car or you scratch the side of my car, you ain't gonna fucking pay for it. You're gonna be away on your toes. You ain't gonna fucking pay for that. Your bike should be checked to make sure that it is roadworthy, that your brakes work. that You've got lights on it so you can be seen at night. You can be seen in the dark. Things like that should be done. It should be law to protect you and protect us from hitting you. Now the thing, you, the other danger you've got coming now is electric cars, because they're quiet. And by fuck, you can creep up to a wanker in an electric car. I'm not, don't get me wrong, I'm not saying we'll drive an electric car, you can drive up and you can hit a cyclist. No, I'm not saying that at all. That would be wrong for me to say that. But what I'm saying is, that's a danger. These guys are dangerous on the road. Wobs are fucking dangerous. They should be taken off of the road. They uh, ignore road rules. They do what the fuck they want. They are a fucking nuisance on the fucking road. Stay off the road. Get off the road. Get out of the way. You're, you live on a cycle track. Go round and round and round in circles on a cycle track. Go in a cycle lane. Stay off the road. If you're on the road, you are a fucking danger. Remember, you look like a bag of shit. You're not young, you're not fit, you don't have a physique that people want to see. When a car driver is sitting behind you, when I'm sitting behind you, all I can see is your fat ass falling off either side of a fucking little saddle. It's not very nice for me, it's not nice for my wife to sit there and see your fat ass and your dagnum smile sitting there and your crack coming out the top of your shorts because they don't fucking fit you because you are too fucking fat. Stay off the road, you're a cock smoker. You shouldn't be there, you should be staying off the road, stay out of the way, leave people alright, leave the roads to the car users and the vans and the motorcycles and people who pay and go through tests 
to be on the road. You don't do any test, you don't pay to be there, and you dress like a cockhead. You should not fucking be there. Anyway, what I'd like to say is, you know, everything's lifting up now. Like we said, lockdown's lifting. Life will come back to normal. Hopefully somewhere in the world you're, you're, you're looking after yourself, you're staying safe. Um, this is you know, Carl's Couch time. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below. Uh, I'll always try and get back to, to your comments. And uh, yeah, subscribe, share with your friends. Thanks very much. Ta-da for now.